what are the <laughs> IBD Live ready list and watch list and where can everyone find them? Sure. And the, the good news is uh, for those who are listening, it's only for them. It's a subscriber only feature. And after the show, Chris and I, we, we take turns or sometimes together uh, sift through the entire list and see which ones uh, need to be taken out because of weak action or be moved, for instance, uh, from the uh, added to the ready list from the watch list uh, or direct or find a stock that's breaking out today and then add it to the ready list. And ready means it's uh, poised to break out past a pivot point uh, or has done that and is in buy range. And also the ready list will include swing trade opportunities too. I think the, the watch list uh, is, is also useful be, because we, we, we try to really uh, examine every stock in terms of average volume, in terms of fund ownership, in terms of the earnings estimates, uh, ba basically every facet of canceling investing. And so, you know, by, by going through the list, and I know some of you will download it, download the tickers and then compare it with the prior day, it gives you really great feedback about <clears throat> what stocks uh, or what sectors might be heating up. Mm -hmm. Such a good point there. And okay, so there are a couple more things that I want to talk about with the ready list and watch list. Okay, so just to reiterate, ready doesn't necessarily mean you see it on that list and you go buy it. You need to look at the chart first. You need to analyze it to make sure that it is indeed at a proper buy point because it could be stocks that are just near a proper buy point. And then, of course, you have to take into consideration overall market conditions. What you know, what exactly is happening at that moment in time in the market that you're looking at the list? Uh, you don't want to just see a ticker and then go go buy. Precisely, uh, and <clears throat> you know, Chris, maybe maybe you, you can jump in too, and and mm -hmm. you want to share share some of your criteria. Uh, as you go through it. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, we're looking for all the, you know, the classic canceling characteristics. I mean, we're, uh, ideally first, we're looking for those stocks with great earnings and sales growth uh, that are, you know, in earlier stage basis, ideally. Um, and then, you know, showing some interesting technical action, either they're getting near a conventional buy point or maybe an early buy point, pulling back in the handle, uh, pulling back to a moving average, things like that. And it also just gives you kind of a sense if you look and see what types of stocks are on there and you'll see it kind of, you know, evolve uh, over, you know, a few days and a few weeks. And it, it does give you a sense of what's happening in the market because, well, you know, all of a sudden you'll see uh, all sorts of, let's say, housing stocks start coming on the ready list. Well, Right now, there's only really one Lennar that's looking good, but um, it will you know if that group really starts uh, improving, you'll you'll see more uh, up here. So there's a lot of ways to to use it, not just finding the individual stocks, but it also gives you a sense of what's going on in the market. And then, what about for people who are saying, "Well, this comes out kind of towards the end of the day." You can. How would you use it, Chris? If you get the list at the end of the trading day, seems like you know after the session's over, that could be part of your sort of evening routine or maybe pre-market routine. Well, that's how I use it. Uh, when I'm not putting it together, usually um, I'm looking at it after the market closes because I want to see, okay, what's uh, what's new to it? What's getting near a buy point? Um, what do I need to be ready to, to jump on tomorrow? And and the other way I'll use it is, you know, I, I import it into Thinkorswim and it's very easy. There's a uh, an item in the... Uh, in the stock list called uh, mark percent change. And so that tells you what a, a stock is doing pre-market and after market. And so it's very easy to sort it and say, okay, uh, you know, here, these are the movers ahead of the market and take a look at the charts and just be ready uh, to act if, uh, if it actually, you know, follows through on those, uh, at least the, the pre-market action. Right, and Arusha, while we would love to make this list available for everyone in MarketSmith, uh, <laughs> there are there are some you know things that we we need to figure out because it's only available to IBD Live subscribers, not all of of MarketSmith subscribers. So for now, at least, you can import the list manually. So Arusha, let's walk everyone 
through how to do this. So I typed in investors.com slash IBD live. You as subscribers are all very familiar with our show landing page. Here's the archived episode from yesterday. We put each day's archived episode up uh, within an hour of the show's conclusion. And then later in the day, once the lists are ready, we will populate this description. So you can click right here to not only see the stock list, but also our edited Q and A from the day, which has a lot of really great useful nuggets in it. Some great links to, to click on here if you need mutual funds that we like to keep tabs on. And of course, here is the uh, Q&A with some great answers from the team throughout the day or throughout the session rather. And now here's the ready list. So Arusha, let's walk everyone through adding this list to market. Oh, okay? <laughs> let's see. This is a slippery highlight. slope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, highlighting the list. He, he, okay. here's the key it, it's so yeah so you, you can do you can copy it from here so you, hi, ali just highlighted every, everything you can mm -hmm. right click and do copy or a control c which is on the on the, mm -hmm. the keyboard shortcut or command c for mac which or is command what i'm c on for mac and we're and after this we're going to give ali's cell phone uh, so when people have questions <laughs> they'll call her and not okay. and not the team because they're going to be very uh, upset uh, uh, now we are in markets. I'm trying well, to say well, before time. this, he, here's oh. what I generally prefer to do because okay. it gets a little tricky sometimes. It might work for going from the IBD page, web page here, but uh, sometimes it gets a little tricky just when you're on web pages because they do have other taggings and all that stuff that can interf interfere with the, the MarketSmith platform and it won't paste it well. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll, I'll copy it from investors.com and I'll paste it into Excel first. And then from Excel, then I'll highlight the columns, the, the symbol mm -hmm. column, and then paste it. But let's see if it works okay, here. Let's Allie. pretend I uh, did let's, that let's, 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 let's for let's time's pretend. sake. Yeah. So new, so then I, we open the bottom panel, new I, I think we, we sacrificed time's sake a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> There you go. R well, ready we get list? this question a lot, and this is such a useful feature that you know we want we want people to be able to utilize it. Okay, so now what do I do? I just now made a list. this I haven't is clicked the key. Anything yet? Yeah, this is the key. This is the key. You want to left click somewhere on that white space there because some a lot of times the the cursor will go in that little symbol box. We so don't want that, that. You don't want it. You want to get the focus off of that symbol box uh, point. And just so left click somewhere on okay, the so white clicked, space. Okay, you left right click. There. Now do control V if you're on a PC or command V if you're on a Mac. We did it. Okay, so that is how you get it into Market Smith. That was easy. That was, um, uh, for me. Easy for you. You can do it. You I young believe millennial. In you all. <laughs> I, I believe in you all out there. Now, Chris. How would you go about sorting this list? What call what columns should we add? Well, during How should the, we sort it? Right. During the trading day, I'll I'll typically do it by um, either relative strength or uh, percentage gain if I just want to see what's up the most. I'm, I, that's usually how I go through these during the uh, during the trading day. During, you know, after hours, it's it's whatever. Alphabetical is uh, usually my default. Uh, which always used to drive Mike uh, Webster crazy. It's like because he wanted something else, but uh, I just like to go what through them and look at them he all. Wanted? Oh, can you share? I don't know, Justin. Do you remember how he how he liked to sort his list? I know it wasn't alphabetical because he used to give me grief. Alphabetical about that. by ticker. I, I, I feel like it changed all the time. It just depended <laughs> on you know yeah. what his what flavor of the day was. Yeah, that's yeah, good. alphabetical by ticker because that's uh, how I think. But I'm alphabetical honest. was never <laughs> the flavor of the day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, and yeah, then just go through them and and um, look for things that catch my eye and that are you know yep. that so I've been watching and and you know. I want to uh, be prepared if they do start moving. And I'm not just looking for the, the conventional buy points. Uh, you know, if, if we're looking, a lot of times we put them on before because there might be an early buy point um, setting up or they may be extended, but they're coming back into the, uh, to the 21 day or maybe the 50 day or 10 week. So there's lots of reasons that, that these stocks could be on there. 
Okay, and then uh, Arusha, we have a question about updating the list every day. What would be the best way to update the list? You could you, you just could do the same thing. Yeah, you just copy it and then when you scroll all the way. No, you don't have to create a new one. Uh, oh, well, yeah, actually, if you want to make sure that the uh, old stocks are deleted from it, yeah, I, I guess you would have to do a new list, call it right, uh, you know, delete this one and, and then do a new mm -hmm. one. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.